Hello, it's Lucas from Mercedes-Benz of Eastbourne, and today we have a wonderful E220D AMG Line Night Edition Premium Plus to have a look around. Now the AMG Line gives you the wonderful chrome pins in the front grille, which really stand out against the Night Edition um, options in there as well. And this being the Premium Plus package gives you the multi-beam LEDs, which are the most advanced available on the E-Class. Now just coming around the side, uh, you can see the coupe styling really make it look very sporty from the side. And the night package uh, on this vehicle, as part of the night edition, uh, gives you the darkened window surrounds just here, the privacy glass and black elements on the front wheels, as, as well as plenty more around the rest of the car. These wheels are the 20-inch uh, AMG multi-spoke alloys, and as you can see with the silver face there, they have a black background in the night edition. Now to open up the boot, we just push on the top portion of the star, nice and easy. And if we uh, have a look in the boot, you can see there's plenty of room and you have a full 425 litres worth of boot space if you needed it. You can also load forward uh, larger items by pushing on, uh, pulling on these toggles and going through the rear seats. And you've got a little shopping bag holder as well, should you need anything stood up. And the uh, power tailgate is always uh, a nice little option as well. Now the keyless entry in this car is very simple, you put your hand in the handle to unlock the car, brush it against the back to unlock it, and if I just um, open up, uh, push forward the front seat, uh, you can see there's plenty of room in the rear seats uh, for your passengers, and ice fix points on both of them as well, should you need them. They have cup holders in the middle, and you can see the Burmester seat speaker in silver, they're really looking great uh, back there. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, have a quick look under the bonnet so that we can uh, talk about the engine a little bit as it is always special in an E-Class um, and then we'll jump in the car. So now that I've got the bonnet open on this uh, E-Class we can see the 220D engine. This is a 2 litre 4 cylinder engine with 194 brake horsepower which will get you down to the road to 60 miles per hour in just 7.6 seconds. You should be able to achieve about 47 to 48 miles to the gallon uh, in it as well. And it's paired to a nine speed automatic transmission providing the smoothest ride on the road. And now that I've jumped into the car, you can see the wonderful digital dash in front of the driver, but where I always start is the actual multimedia display just up here. Now it's lovely and easy to use, uh, just using the laptop touchpad, I go into phone here. And as you can see, there are two different phones that you can connect up to the car. Both will be able to make and receive calls. In navigation here, we have our 3D uh, option on at the moment, um, but it's nice and easy to set a destination. We just hit where to and then put in a postcode or check out the previous destinations on the left. In radio, we have FM as well as DAB stations and even AM up there. And it is nice and easy to change the station. Again, you can just swipe across on the screen um, to select your favorite one, or you can have your favorites just kept underneath that. In media, if we have our phone connected, we can play our Bluetooth through, whether that's Apple Music, Spotify, um, or you can connect up a USB um, to the infotainment system as well. And in here, we can see our ambient lighting settings, so you can choose any color in here, really, or set up a color scheme should you want to uh, as well, which is nice and easy, and it really adds an extra effect in the car. There are plenty more uh, items to go through, but I'll just cover the basics today. Coming down slightly, you can see the wonderful grey open pore black ash wood, really looking great um, with the Burmester speakers just there, finished in silver. And just coming down, we have all of our climate control options for both the driver and the passenger just here, and it is fully automatic, so you don't have to worry about anything at all. Opening up um, the center console, you can see we've got a USB Type-C slot as well as a 12 volt adapter and a couple of cup holders and a wireless charging port should your phone be compatible. Down here we have our laptop style touchpad which we use to control the screen and we have our dynamic select which is how we go into different sport or more economical settings. We can also set up self parking in here and on the right we have our volume and belt uh, control options just there as well. Now the steering wheel is quite the upgrade uh, from the previous E-Class, everything is all touchpad now. So as you can see it is nice and easy to use, you just swipe in the direction that you're wanting it to do and you've got the back button and the home button to assist. Just below that we've got a couple of options for making and receiving calls as well as the volume options as well. And on the right hand side we have uh, all the same buttons to control the screen but for the main screen in front of the driver. And below that we have um, our cruise control as well as speed limiter which we can set the speed just by again swiping up and down. Now the Burmester speakers are absolutely incredible, it's a 525 watt system in here and we have our fully electric front seats as you'd expect in the Premium Plus and once you've got your seat, steering wheel and mirrors into the right place you just hit M and then 1, 2 or 3 to save it into that position. 
And last but not least, we have the wonderful sunroof in this car. It really is utterly humongous and really adds a lot of value. And just opening up as well, it will tilt up and open up lovely and wide. Gives you some lovely airflow through the car. Thank you so much for watching this. I've been Lucas. You can get me on 01323 465 028 or by calling into the Mercedes-Benz of Eastbourne dealership. If you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.